Hello and what's up everybody this is Pete from Pete Academy and in this video we will learn about the font awesomes. Guys font awesome library is a library which provides you a number of font icons means I know that its name is font awesome because it provides you a font, font icons means such as your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn or any type of icons you want to add on your web page guys previously what we do for adding the icons or something like we have something uh, means if you want to add means facebook icons or instagram or means if i have to add five icons like facebook twitter instagram pinterest linkedin then i have that is necessary for me to have five separate images means one for facebook image and second is your twitter image third is your pinterest or any of the image so what it does that means uh the, Everyone wants that their sites should load faster on the internet when a user is click on this website. Then the, it wants that they want that your this their, their site should load fast on the web browser. So, but what happened previously that because if we as we have used a number of files for the different icons means I have used five images for five different icons. Then it will going to uh, call five. Uh, it will my uh, the web browser going to send the HTTP request five times to the my the server, uh, which makes my web pre, web uh, web page to load uh, slower. Means it is decreases my the loading speed of the web page. So, in place of that, what we have uh, in CSS3 come is named as your image sprite. Guys, image sprite is nothing. It is a single image in which you have five different images uh, in, in inside a single image. But what you can do is you can just change the height and width of the image and you can just make the image It means you can use uh, different icons from the same image only So this is a, this is what we call this image sprite But now at these days in the modern world you can see in 2020 as, as you can see the data is recorded that um, most of the user has used the font awesome in place of the image spread because the font awesome library helps you to include a number of font icons by just uh, adding their class means you don't have to uh, fetch the you don't have to save the any of the image or any of the for means any file in your system you can just fetch them from the server with the help of internet and you can just add it into your web page so how to do that and not only uh, using the font awesome i will be telling you how you can use unicode unicode for implementing the icons more for adding your icons on your web page so uh, these two ways i'm going to teach you in this video so for that uh, what do you have to do you have that you can see i have one uh, file over here and uh, for fetching the font awesome library just open up any of the browser in your system and then search for uh, font awesome cdn okay font awesome sorry font awesome cdn load up fast yeah if my internet is not working or something like the very first website you find on the screen just click over the link or i will give you the link in the description you can just Follow the link in the description and you, you will be redirected to the same site. Actually, I think my network is slow. Taking time. And now you have to copy this. Okay, guys. So just copy this out. As you can see, this is the main.cs. Main, it is the CSS file you want to link in your, you are going to link in your HTML file. So you all know that if we are going to link any external CSS file, then we require to provide the address to it. So the address we have copied from the site on itself and now let's just add some different icons so for let me just show you the output first and then we will add the icons into our web page so, so far now you can see i have nothing done on my web page right now you can see i have done just nothing and now I want to add the icons to my web page. So what I can do, you have only have to add the class name over here. For that, you have to write like I class fa means you can go like fa fa 
फेसबुक ओके और वन मोर थिंग यू कैन डू इज यू कैन जस्ट गो इन दे गो हेयर फाइंड द एक्सटेंशन मेन्यू एंड यू कैन जस्ट डाउनलोड दी फॉन्ट और सब ओके यू कैन ओके लेट मी जस्ट शो यू इट शो टू यू so you can just install it out i have already installed it so it will going to provide me the libraries by itself the classes over there so i don't have to write like this i can just like the fa fa facebook then it will automatically add my automatically add my facebook library for a uh, sorry class over here and similarly i can just add it like fa fa instagram sorry what i can do uh, what else i can do i can just copy this code and paste it out by the file you can just say it like oh sorry and now you can just change it if you know the name of the icon you can just change it from here sorry location error Similarly, you can change this also. I can drag it down. Similarly, it also be interest. And after that, you have to save the file and see the output in the live server. Now you can see the same icon. The icons are present on your screen. So this is the one way of uh, adding the icons on your web page. Means by using the font or some library. Either you can just fetch the library from here, or you can just download it from this site by itself. I recommend you to just fetch the uh, this because uh, it will be easier for you to means don't it don't require any file to save on your PC. You can just download uh, fetch the files whenever you want. And the next we have the Unicode. Okay, sorry, I can just like Unicode. Okay. and this is my website i will give you the link in the description or you can just type it like unicode h uni code and i think the very first website you will find will be the same which i provide you the link or i will just give you the same link in my description itself so you can just click over it and even find a number of unicodes over here you can see these are the unicodes of the your means for adding this types of icons on your web page you can add any type of icon you want to add okay for example i want the location icon then i can type like location and search for it And I can see I means we have a different type of icons over here. Okay, the location icon is not present over here. I think the your Instagram icon might be present. The home icon is just check our home. All the unicodes are actually not present on this site, but you have to search or you can just uh, find it like over here. Means Unicode help you to add these different, uh, not only the icons, but you can add emojis and all uh, with the help of that. So I'm let me. I'm showing you that how you can add any emojis to your uh, in your web page. So I just add this emoji. So this code uh, it has a code of your. This is a Unicode. So you have just you can just copy this out. And sorry, this is your sorry. Don't not. This is your Unicode. This is sorry, guys. This is not your Unicode. This is your Unicode number. But you have to write this HTML code in your uh, web uh, in your HTML file. Then the this emoji will appear on your screen. Okay. And now you can see. Uh, I'm giving some BR over here. And I have only added the 
uh, HTML code over here, which is this. And this code means the same emoji you have seen over there. Now you can see we have one emoji over here. So guys, this is the way you can just add a uh, different type of emoji and whatever you want to add. Means you can add anything you want. There is no restriction for you, but make sure you are going to copy the emoji, this uh, HTML code. Okay, this is the Unicode number. Means by typing this, you can just search these um, your uh, emojis or all. But for adding this to into your web page, you have to either copy the HTML code or the CSS code for adding this. So this is the way you can just add um, different icons in your web page